I'd like to go over my uh, flash stamp, my stainless steel flash bubbler system uh, that I've developed. Um, this is the container that I'm using for my flash uh, HHO flash bubbler. Uh, it is a 700 milliliter. Uh, basically, it's a thermos bottle um, because it is double walled. Um, stainless steel when I was drilling the holes for the uh, inlet and outlet pipes uh, here I discovered that this is double walled which makes it even more stronger um, and, uh, and good for this use. Um, <clears throat> the bottle however did not have the, the proper um, the proper opening for me to uh, for me to use a threaded um, uh, fitting there. So what I had to do is is use a plastic uh, fitting um, that was threaded there um, to get uh, the the flash dissipator uh, installed. But it works very well. Um, I've, I've epoxy glued uh, this fitting to the uh, to the bubbler. Uh, where it's actually joined is recessed uh, down just below here and then I've got it epoxy glued. Um, these uh, outlet pipes, uh, this is the inland, inlet pipe, this is where the um, the reservoir, bubbler reservoir would be here and the gas would be coming down, bubbling down to the bottom. There's a, if you may not be able to see it inside, but there's a tube that goes down from that side all the way down to the bottom uh, and that tube at the end has a small aquarium stone which uh, diffuses the bubbles and they bubble up through the water uh, the water level is is about right here um, the gas bubbles out through here and then goes through and onto the uh, uh, flashback arrester but <clears throat> this bottle will accept a quarter inch, uh, and this is the quarter inch uh, flash uh, suppressor, and it is also uh, very unique as well. Um, I have to say I've looked at many, many designs um, uh, and came up with my own uh, design for this. But it's just a consolidation of a lot of other people's uh, designs. Um, but it works really well um, for several different reasons. One reason is, is that uh, it's all adjustable. Um, this is the little plug that goes in. You can see that it's made from 304 stainless steel. Um, and inside here is a spring. Inside is a, is a spring, and these the spring can be, um, you can add any size spring that you want uh, to the system. Uh, the, the heavier, of course, the heavier spring that you have, uh, the more pressure your, your system will hold. And here is the stainless steel ball. The stainless steel ball drops right down into the, um, into the system, and it encloses or uh, that or it closes up the hole in there perfectly. Um, you then uh, can add the, the spring in, back into, into the system and then close the um, flashback arrester uh, itself. And the actually the tightness of this can be adjusted as well um, to give you a little bit of, uh, of play in the spring uh, in the spring there. The, so that's what it is, that's what it looks like when it's completely uh, assembled and then you basically what you do is you just assemble this or you put it on top of the bottle and uh, this just screws right in. I usually have, I put a uh, rubber washer here 
uh, just to make sure that everything's nice and snug and tight and uh, there's no leakage at all. And uh, the heavier spring that you have in it, the, the, the more pressure you can hold.